Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. We have good opportunities from Accenture. One is Associate Software Engineer and other one is System and Application Services Associate. Eligibility criteria. All streams, all branches of any degree that means any graduation can apply and um, except BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC, MCA, MSc and uh, PG candidates can also apply uh, requirement is there on the screen and candidates should not have any backlogs during the application or du during onboarding you should have completed your relevant degree in the stipulated duration of the degree for example you must complete your BBA in 3 years or your MSc in 2 years candidates should not have appeared for Accenture recruitment assessment or interview process in the last three months candidate should not have more than 11 months of experience if he is applying the job and as we provide service for our clients across the globe we expect you to be flexible to work across different time zones or shifts you should be willing to join or relocate at any Accenture office across India so responsibilities of the candidate so what is the responsibility of system and application services associate so he has to he or she has to identify solve the issues of the application uh, based on the business requirement he has to work technical functional and uh, he has to provide some solutions to the client based on the problem and requirements issue requirements you should have knowledge on C++ or .NET or any other programming language and excellent communications are required in this job so after application of the job you have to uh, go through a uh, two stages of uh, assessment uh, first uh, assessment is a cognitive assessment so here we will be having uh, English ability critical thinking problem solving abstract reasoning Assessment 2. Technical assessment. This is optional. So requirement is there on the screen. So assessment 3. Communication assessment. So this will test your communication skills. Application link is in the description. Please go there and apply for this job. We will go to the next opportunity. So our next opportunity is associate software engineer. Okay. Eligibility criteria, all streams, all branches of BE, BTEC, ME, MTEC, MCA and MSc, CSC, IT only from 2022 and 2023 years of passed out with full time education. So no active backlogs during the application and or during onboarding and note here they are mentioning a note MBA, PG, DBM candidates are not eligible to apply for this job. You should have completed your relevant degree in stipulated duration of degree. Like we have to complete uh, BTEC in 4 years and uh, MTEC in 2 years. Your highest uh, education qualification only considered. Candidates should not have appeared for Accenture recruitment assessment or interview process in the last 3 months. Candidates should not have more than 11 months of experience for this job. Candidate must be eligible to work in India either by citizenship or have the relevant work permit documents. So uh, you need to uh, you need to be relocated to any other uh, office based on the business requirements. You are willing to uh, work in any business unit service line within the company. What uh, uh, Accenture needs? Ability to anticipate and resolve business issues with agility. Multidisciplinary and versatile with the aptitude to learn and apply new skills faster. Good analytical skills, problem solving skills and proficient in verbal and communication skills. Delivery code to time and quality expectation. Take the ownership of the success implementation of the solution support infrastructure operations or manage delivery for IT production systems and services 
flexibility to re relocate for project deployment to any part of india and work in 24 by 7 shifts basis uh, business requirement so mention will be preferred basic understanding of abap development on hanm cds amdp performance analysis experience or knowledge in configuration customization of salesforce.com application good working knowledge in j2e and full stack development so candidate should have a uh, development experience of .net asp.net asp.net uh, mvv so let's uh, get into the process now so candidate will be having uh, three tests here so first thing is assessment one cognitive and technical assessment here so here they will test your uh, english ability critical thinking and problem solving abstract reasoning so under technical assessment include 40 questions common application and uh, ms office pseudo code fundamentals of networking security and cloud they will test your knowledge on this uh, networking security cloud and pseudo codes and uh, application usages like microsoft coding assessment coding assessment will be uh, there and you will be getting two questions here and that must be solved using any one of the programming language here c language is there dot net c plus plus java python so assessment three communication assessment so here they will test your assessment like uh, here they here they will test your communication skills and uh, let's go to the application how to apply this job and all procedure will be same for both the things So once you click on apply, it will ask your uh, Gmail ID and password. So if you if you don't have that account, please create it. And um, after giving your credentials, so it will be redirect you to this page. And here, the first question is uh, source details. So where did you find this job? so you can give social media advertisement you can give others so personal details here you have to give your personal details like uh, first name last name middle name and your your uh, university registration number email id here contact number and if you have whatsapp number if the same number is your whatsapp number you can give that and you can give your alternative mobile number you can give your uh, date of birth here and based on the uh, application you can select your gender uh, residency you can select your city here and you have to uh, select your uh, uh, education qualifications so skill type here what is your primary skill if you have anything just select that otherwise leave it as it is so language certification if you have done any foreign language certifications select yes otherwise not applicable uh, preferred job location you can select your pre uh, preferences like uh, hyderabad is my uh, first preference like that so same like that we have uh, preference number 2 and we have preference number 3 you have to give these three things and next thing do you complete your relevant degree within the stipulated duration of uh, duration for the degree if you are completed within the time you can give that and uh, standing backlogs if you have any current backlogs you can give uh, yes otherwise no and here have you worked in accenture or any of its entitles if you are not worked then uh, if you didn't work then you can give no so have you appeared for any assessment if you are appeared for any assessment uh, if you have, have you appeared for any assessment or uh, interview process of accenture in the last 3 months if you did it uh, select yes otherwise no please select your nationality your nationality should be selected here 
and uh, have you completed your final year final semester exam if you completed then mark is yes, otherwise no select your resume here choose your resume and upload it a passport size uh, photo is required and you have to select a pan card here and you should upload that and uh, you need to enter that um, id here if you have disability just choose it and uh, you have to mark these things as yes and all should be marked as agreed so after filling this um, sheet you have to submit this page if you click on submit your things will be submitted and your application will be submitted and uh, you, you will get a mail thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe